Have you ever wondered if upgrading to Logitech Brio is even worth it? In today's session, I will be demonstrating or comparing the heavyweight Logitech Brio and Logitech C920. I will be doing the heavy lifting for you so you can compare and decide which webcam deserves a spot on your desk. I will be going into details of field of depth, changing the colors and much, much more. But before we dive in, hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. And I will also show you how to change your Logitech Brio from looking like this to this. So here I am on my OBS and I'm using my Windows screen recorder to record my OBS because recording OBS through OBS is going to get slightly tedious when I'm editing. But before we start, I do want to mention that you should be downloading the Logitech G Hub. I will be leaving the link in the description box below. And once you download, that's where the magic happens. So let's go ahead and add our Logitech Brio. So this is my Logitech C920. And before I forget, I do want to also mention that you can change the settings of your Logitech Brio from your Windows settings. So once you click on your settings, click on your home and here you have your camera and once you scroll down, you have all your camera device settings in the bottom. And here you have all the cameras that you can adjust your settings for. Let's click on Logitech HC920. Here you have an option to increase the brightness. I like to change them right here as well. So it gives me more control or double control, if you will. And I like to adjust my contrast just a little bit. Sharpness, 50 is good enough. Saturation, there you go. That's my Logitech C920. Now, once that's done, I'm going to go back to my cameras here, click on my Brio. And here I am adjusting the contrast of my Brio. As you can see, there's a whole difference between Brio and C920. Here is my sharpness. Here is my saturation. Once this is done, let's close this. And now let's go ahead and add our Brio. I'm going to click on Web Capture Device. I'm going to say Brio and demo click ok and here i'm going to click on logitech brio and as you can see this whole tint of yellowness just pops on my face in here in the default device i'm going to click on custom and here i like to pick sometimes i like to pick 1600 by 896 but for today's demonstrations you know what um, i'm going to pick 1920 by 1080 and once that's done, I'm going to click OK. And here I have it. As you see, it does look and does have that slight tint. Keep in mind, you can adjust this from your Windows settings as well. But let me show you how to do it using your Logitech G Hub, which I'm going to be pulling over right here. Well, this doesn't want to come. So this is my Logitech G Hub. As you see, I have C920 and Brio. I'm going to click on my Brio and the Brio is being used by OBS. So that's why it's not giving me these options. But let me scroll my screen just a little bit and start with the first thing, which is the field of view. As you can see, this is 65, which is zooms right in. I'm going to take off the zoom right here. Can I move this further? Let me reduce my... OBS so you can see everything and here is field of view which is 78 and here is 90 and the best part of it is let's just say I want to have this angle I do have an option to zoom in from right here and I do have an option to adjust the directions or see which way the camera is focused let's just say I want to focus on my diplomas more than on the right hand side so I can do that I can move my camera up and down so this does give you that control on how you can angle your camera and which field of view would you like. So this this is just let me just move just a little bit and go up and I like this. This is good enough. Now let's click on exposure here. And as you can see, everything is set to auto. I do not like it to have it to auto. 
but I do like to have the HDR, which you can go ahead and read. It's the range of light, the contrast, the darks, and the light areas of the image. And if I decrease the shutter speed, as you can see, it is decreasing the lightness or the brightness in the camera, but I like to just keep it to 130, the maximum. I do not go beyond that. And changing your ISO, as you can see, it does make your screen bright, but let me show you what happens. It gives you that grainy quality of the video. There you go. It just gives you that grainy quality, which I would not recommend. So always keep your ISO to 300 and your shutter speed, depending on what kind of lighting you have. Let's click on the image and I always turn on my HDR image quality. Again, this is auto white balance. Turn this off and now let's adjust. The, temp the moment I turn the auto white balance off, you can see there's a whole day and night difference. You can change your temperature. There you go. I like to leave it to 4,690 maybe. That's good enough. The brightness, make sure it's not too bright. Yeah, that's good enough. Yep, that I do like to have the little contrast so I can you can see in the background. That's totally up to you. Saturation, fifty-seven. Yeah, that's good enough. The maroons do look maroons. I do see the blues. I do see the light in the background, and um, that is my reference. This light is my reference. As as long as I see that yellow, I am good enough. The sharpness. This is something you really have to focus on. Sometimes when you have blemishes on your face or wrinkles on your face or, you know, you, you want to hide something, something pops up on your face, then reducing the sharpness does make your, let me zoom that in, does, where is my Logitech? I'm going to move this to the other side so you can see. Reducing the sharpness makes your skin smoother or blurrier so you don't see those blemishes. But increasing the sharpness, you can see pretty much, no, this is not how my face is. But 50 and you can see much more clearly whatever is on the face. I like to keep it to 50 just in case you meet me outside and you see all the blemishes on my face. I just don't want you to be surprised. And let me come back here, move my OBS or minimize my OBS. The next one is focus. I all I move a lot while I'm presenting, so I like to leave it to autofocus. But you can change this and make it manual focus or however you want it. There you go. This is my face. Yeah, that's good enough. But I just leave it to autofocus for some reason. I don't have, I don't remember to always go back and adjust the focus. So this is good enough. Once this is done, you're all good to go. And now if you want to change it for your C920, which is right here, you can do that as well. Double click. Exposure, auto and not auto, shutter speed, changing your ISO, your image, auto white balance, not auto white balance, Ew. brightness too bright. As you can see, there's a whole lot of difference between the Brio and your C920. But again, depends on what your budget is and what you want. Honestly, C920 also does a phenomenal job and I do like it a lot. Let me expand this and you can see this is my C920. This is my Brio. C920. Where is it? C920 and my Brio. There you have it. Um, let me see. Is my, f yeah, it is flipped. I always like to look at that. I'm going to go ahead and transform. Where is my transform? Flip. Well, it's not flipping. It looks like it doesn't want to flip. There you go. And now I'm going, did it flip again? Yeah. Why is it doing that? Okay, I'm just going to expand it right here. And once this is done, I like to go ahead and always add my strokes and glow. And if you have not downloaded those plugins, I'll leave the link in the description box below as well. And if you want me to make a video on those, just comment below. But I'm going to go ahead, click on my filters. I do like to add a stroke that gives an extra cinematic touch to my video. Inner stroke, I always like to match with my t-shirt. So that's good enough for me. And as you can see, it is giving me that border. And I'm going to click on add glow. Click OK. 
and I would like to have an inner glow. White is good enough. That's the size. It just gives you that edgy look. And I'm going to close and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you saw the difference between the Logitech Brio and C920. And remember, you can change your settings by using the Logitech G Hub or also using your Windows camera settings, whichever is convenient and easier for you. Do not forget to check out my other videos on Logitech, which is Logi Capture, which is also my favorite. And honestly, any Logitech product is my favorite. They do a phenomenal job. So check that out as well. I've also done videos on how to change the settings in your Microsoft Teams and your Zoom and many, many more. I'll leave the link for all the Logitech videos down below. Don't forget to check it out. And if you enjoyed this video and if you have made up your mind which Logitech camera is going to make space on your desk, do give us a thumbs up, do share this video and like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself. And don't forget to comment, what do you like? Do you like the Logitech Brio, which is this? or the Logi C9, Logitech C920. This has been my loyal customer for a long time, so I do like to have this from time to time, but this is the Logitech Brio.